we don't, we, we luckily, you know, we've just gotten out of Mercury retrograde. We just got out of eclipse season that like ripped us a new one. Okay. We also didn't really get to talk about that so much, but yes, it ripped us a new one. Okay. Um, or maybe it didn't for you. If it didn't for you, good for you. Okay. <laughs> I feel like it kind of had to do something to literally everybody, at least a little bit. Um, but anyways, so we have everything direct up until May 2nd, Pluto's going retrograde. One, two, three. Welcome, Cosmic Explorers, to the Human Design and Astro Club podcast, your celestial compass to self-discovery and personal empowerment. We are going to take you on a cosmic journey where we dive deep into the fascinating realms of human design, astrology, and tarot, where we will unravel the cosmic codes that shape your personalities, relationships, and destinies. Welcome to the club. Welcome to the Human Design and Astro Club podcast. And this is the podcast you've been waiting for. Hello. Oh, yeah. Leah's, Leah's about to do this. <laughs> I had a bop going in my head. Yeah, you did. I was like, I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> With good reason. Yeah. Welcome back, everybody. These episodes are super fantastic for helping everybody take back their power for the month, be able to utilize these transits to your advantage. I know the transits are really an awareness tool, but I feel like when you can visualize and allow the mind, I think the mind, you know, I look at the mind like a dog and I've talked about this before, but I look mm -hmm. at the mind like a dog where you have to train it to, to like see what it needs to actually see. And that's where I guess our view perspective comes in with the human design variables. But if the mind can surrender to what it knows, because the mind, you know, it lives in this fear state of like, oh my God, what's happening? Or look out at the world, how crazy. But it's like, if the mind knew, well, this is what's going, what, this is the energy for right now. It kind of softens is what I've noticed for myself personally. And what I've noticed from other people that I have worked with in relation mm -hmm. to the transits. Like we used to have a private paid Facebook group last year, the cosmic community. And that was based on the transits. And so mm -hmm. we learned a lot from those people. And I feel like when we can allow ourselves to just soften to, to what is actually happening in the moment, because we can see it, we know it, we can name it, right? It's like when you can name something, it kind of takes the power away from the net whatever that negative aspect could possibly be. And it could empower you to move forward with greater ease and strength and all of that. So yes. that's basically what these episodes are about. It's about honestly utilizing your own power in combination with the energies that are working above. But before we dive into, we have a lot going on. If you've never been here before, welcome. We're so happy you're here. If you're over on YouTube, give us a big thumbs up. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Help us reach 500 people. We'll be doing a giveaway when we get to 500 people on our YouTube channel. If you're on the podcast, all you got to do is head to the description down below. Click the YouTube um, Human Design Astro Club link, and I'll take you right there. Subscribe. Subscribe. We would love to have you over there and you can see us be weird. Okay. You can see <laughs> us be weird. But anyways, before we dive into everything, let's just do some brief introductions. If you're new here or if you need a refresher, I feel like you probably don't need a refresher, but anyways, and also welcome back. Welcome back to all the lovely people that have been spending your time with us. We really, really appreciate that you take moments out of your day to spend this time with us and learn and share and all of those great things. So anyways. My name is Crystal, and I am a 1-3 sacral generator, rising Capricorn, Sagittarius sun, and an Aries moon. I have been in my human design experiment for seven years now, wild as <laughs> um, I'll tell you, when you get to year seven, <laughs> you immediately feel like an alien, um, <laughs> like... <laughs> 
I already felt that way before, but it's like, it's the confirmation is there. And then like your, your cells are regenerated, regenerating and restarting again. Mm-hmm. And um, I can't even recognize the person that I was seven years ago when I first started my experiment. She was a lot of things <laughs> that I just thought of in my head. <laughs> Um, And so before that, I worked at the Kabbalah Center for three and a half years. And that's actually what led me to human design because I I was able to understand the depth of one, why we are here and through the Kabbalah tree of life. And so that when I actually listened to a podcast one day while I was driving with my, my son, I'll never forget this day, I heard somebody talking about the human design system and what it incorporated. And they said, Oh yeah, it has the Kabbalah tree of life. And I don't, I had this visceral feeling happen in my body and I had to actually pull over to the side of the road because I started crying because I never understood why I ended up at the Kabbalah center and I heard a voice that this is why. And so then it led me down this path of human design for that. I did hair and makeup professionally for 13 years and I feel like I'm at the point of my journey where I I kind of moved from this outer beauty, helping people with outer beauty. And now I'm on the inside, helping people with their inner beauty. And so that's a little bit about me. And let's welcome my my (laughs) co-pilot, Leah. Hi, uh, I'm Leah. I'm a 2-4 splenic projector. Um, My astrology is a Aquarius sun, a Taurus moon, and a Libra rising. Um, I have a history way back with a network marketing business, working, helping people with their health and wellness, with workouts and nutrition, and always did personal development. It was part of the deal. It was like always working on yourself externally and internally, and I would help people with that as well. Um, and then I came across human design during a meeting one day, and I was like, oh my gosh. And it, weirdly enough, she was talking about the spleen that day, like oh. all of the gates of the spleen, and I'm splenic authority. So- I mean, maybe not weirdly enough, maybe it was like exactly what it was supposed to be. Um, But then I started learning more about that. I started working with tarot and Oracle cards. Um, That was probably like seven years ago or so. And then I fully got into human design about three, three and a half years ago. And it's just really like helped me transform myself and let go of things that weren't working anymore, um, understand my family at a deeper level. And it's just been really amazing. And now we have our podcast and our business. And I think that's kind of like bloomed this beautiful little flower that we've created. Yeah. Yeah. Well, actually, actually, oh, wait a second. I really love that you said that because the Human Design and Astro Club is innocence motivation. I don't know if you looked at, if you've looked at our full chart or looked at, because you know I did. Yes, Um, I did. She's innocence. Oh. She is. I, I like to say innocence is the beautiful blossom flower. Yeah. They they okay. already are the perfection that we as humanity are moving towards, but at the same time already are. And I think that we really, the moment we're born, we forget. Mm-hmm. We forget all of the, the wholeness. And that's what I feel like the sixth line kind of brings is the wholeness yeah. to self. Yeah. So yeah, she's a, she's a, a splenic manifester. The Human Design and National Club, if you guys want to know, we love doing business <laughs> charts. And so obviously I had to dive into our own. Um, and yeah, she's a splenic manifester. Um, I don't know why I'm forgetting her profile right now, but um, she's all, I know she's alternating appetite, which I also found to be interesting. And I do see us go from one thing to another and kind of move on different sides. And we've tried different things and we'll like kind of like we have our, our, business stuff outside here on the website. And then we have our podcast and we move from podcasts to YouTube. And like, there's a lot of like Mm -hmm. movement and she has this receptive nature to her and really like she, she's the one that's drawing people in. She's like initiating you and drawing you in. And you're just like, who are these crazy bees on the internet? (laughs) Um, and it's all thanks to her. She's, she's, uh, she also has the money line. So Yeah. Uh, well, let us know if you guys want us to do more business type podcast related to human design and even astrology, because that's what I do when I work with people outside of here. I do a lot of uh, business sessions 
um, in relation to the different charts that are formed in your business and how to use that in relation to branding and messaging through your variables. So, oh, speaking of variables, real speaking quick. Of yeah. Speaking of variables, um, we are about to start our third round of color code variables intensive. And I have to say, and I know I probably will say this every single time a new round starts, but there's something about this next round, especially because this is the first time that we have two sets of partnerships coming into this round just accidentally, but also on purpose, because I think this has to do with the nodes, because we're mo we're moving into self-empowerment and figuring out the types of relationships we really want. And I mm -hmm. feel like that's what the color code really offers is empowerment of self and then how to be in relation with the other and how to understand the other. I overheard my mother one day a couple years ago at a wedding we were at and she goes, ever since my daughter found human design, we've had the best relationship. Our relationship has dramatically wow. improved. That's amazing. And I, it's because I think when you're able to see someone's chart human design chart, you get to witness their beauty and you get to see exactly who they are and you get to understand them. And that's the thing is we don't understand each other. And I think the human design variables give you those, those points of reference that really allow you to see how does the other person fit in to my world? How do they show up? What is their process? Yeah. And so that's what we're going to be walking through with the human design variables. It's not all about relationships. It's really about discovering your internal algorithm to success, however you want to use that um, on your own. And also there's just so much information on the, the variables on the internet, a lot of misinformation as we know. And, and so we want to give you the foundation. We want to give you the information and we want to provide experiments to help you actually integrate this into your everyday life. So we have one spot left, trying to get this one spot done, but the last spot's filled up rather quickly. Um, we kick off May 5th. Um, you will have, if, if the spot is still available, we don't even know if it'll be available by the time this podcast episode drops, but you can go to the show notes down below in the description click color code variables intensive link and see if doors are still open and you can claim the last spot. We would love to have someone that is ready, fucking ready to transform their life, ready to know about their deep process to actually be able to move through on this material plane and be able to be in partnership with self and the other. Like we, we don't realize that we like being being in a partnership with self is about being able to understand the deepest layers of who you are and loving who you are. And like sometimes like I even just like hold my own hand. I know that sounds probably weird, but like we are always with ourselves. You yeah. know what I mean? You'll never yeah. be able to remove the self. No. And that's where it all starts. It starts with yourself to love the other, to love and help other and support others. It starts with loving yourself first. Right. A yeah. huge part. So if you have any questions on what the color code variables intensive is, we have gotten a lot of, I've gotten a lot of DMs. I've gotten a lot of email. We've gotten a lot of emails asking mm -hmm. pretty much everything you can find on the website. We also even have testimonials you can look at. Um, I, we have a lot of also check out our Instagram. Human Design Astro Club is our joint Instagram. I'm Journey Through HD on Instagram and Leah's The Splendid Projector. You can also find all of our Instagrams down below in the show notes as well. And we do have a lot of variable education on there. Um, even if you're like, I don't, I'm not ready for this right now. We've got a lot of free resources on the variables, like mm -hmm. a lot. So yeah. feel three, feel free, feel three, feel three, feel free. Well, you know, you, I'm going to stand all over my words <laughs> at least a couple times in this episode. But feel free to check out our website, humandesignastro.com. There's a lot of uh we have, a, we have some blogs over there on the variables, and then we have like a whole page just set up dedicated to all of our stuff on the variables. So you can check that out at humandesignastro.com. Go over to Instagram. And yeah, so we would love, we're, we're ready. I want to complete the group. I'm ready to complete the group. So if it's you, we would love to have you. Is there anything else that you would like to say about that, Leah? Or we can move on to a couple of other things. I don't think so. I think we're okay. good. So- just so everybody knows, just to recap with what these, you know, episodes are about, 
as I said, we're talking about the transits here. So we're, we are definitely one of the only, I'm sure it'll eventually, I won't be able to say this anymore, but one of the only human design and astro club, no, human design and astro club. We are the only human design and astro club <laughs> podcast. <laughs> one of the only human design podcasts that not only talk about the human design system, but we also talk about the thread that runs through with astrology. A lot of people have a hard time combining. I've learned, I didn't know that this was like a thing because uh, mm -hmm. it just, I don't know. It's a natural thing for me to combine human design and astrology. I'm also kitchen's environment. So I feel like there's something to do with that as well. Yeah. But we combine human design, astrology, and tarot and the thread that runs through. So definitely stick around to the end of this episode because Leah is going to pull tarot for specifically each human design type. So you'll want to know how to utilize yourself through tarot at the end of the episode. Um, and so what else do I want to say about this? Um, we also have not only these are not our only podcast episodes, we also have interview episodes scattered throughout the podcast. Again, head over to our YouTube, subscribe, help us reach 500 people so we can do a giveaway over there. I also, um, I've started a couple new series over there. I will be going back to them. Don't worry. We're going to go back to them. My get ready with me is where I'm like ridiculous and talking to random people on YouTube. Those are only going to be segmented for YouTube. So also would love to get some topics that you guys would want me to get ready and talk to you guys about. And we can chat in the comments. That's why I love YouTube because you can be like, in relationship with people in, in real yeah. life, in, in, in time, in real time. Mm -hmm. So we'll be doing that. And then we also have human design, true crime. We will be, I have a bunch of, I have a list of people I want to go through and I've been watching stuff, gathering information as I am the investigator, you guys know. So we'll be going back to those too. So we have a lot going on. So yeah, just check out the podcast, scroll through or YouTube, we're also going to be, I keep saying this, but it will happen, okay? Putting together, what are they called? Playlists on YouTube? Yeah, there's, there's a couple of playlists. Oh, there are? There. Okay, sorry. There are yeah, a playlist. Go ahead. That's okay. That. We've got the educational episode playlist that's like, you know, basics for human design stuff, types, centers, um, our stories, different things that we've talked about, the variables. Um, and then we've also got probably a couple other ones on there. I don't know off the top of my head, but they are, most of them are segmented. We didn't, it's not all the way from the beginning of our time with having the podcast because we didn't get onto YouTube for a little while, but we've got as much as we can organized on there. Um, if And then I think down in the description, there's also a link that um, is educational if you're not on YouTube, which obviously we're suggesting to go there, but you can click on that when it goes to our website and it has them all organized as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, on our we, do, we do have, um, if you go to the homepage of our website, we have two paths you can take. We have a beginner's path that has a lot of our educational episodes on and a lot of other things as well. And then we have our intermediate path, which is for people that have been experimenting for a while. And you can check out what we have over there. We try to make it super easy and we simplify human design so that you can actually take what you need, take what you need and use mm -hmm. it. If you're at the beginning of your journey, we got you. If you're somewhere in the middle, we got you. If you're, you're intermediate, advanced, which I don't feel like there's that many... <laughs> <laughs> if there are, please tell me because I am looking for you guys. I've been telling people, I really don't know that many people that are seven years into their experiment or, or beyond. I would love to meet people beyond because those are yeah. probably some really powerful people that have really done a lot of deconditioning. And yeah. not to say that when you're at the beginning, you're not deconditioning. It's just, it comes in layers with human design. It just comes in layers. And it's not, there's nothing wrong with being at the beginning. I also want to preface that because I've heard of people shaming people with that before, um, mm -hmm. that you're like not advanced yet, or you don't know enough. Fuck that shit. You know what you know, and you don't know what you don't know. And eventually you'll get there. And there's nothing wrong with wherever you're at on your journey. That's it. It just is. And that's why I love human design, because it just is. Just because I might know probably too much sometimes mm -hmm. I feel like <laughs> about human design, that doesn't mean that I am better than you. Okay. It just means we are in different places in life right now. Exactly. And, that's, and that's okay. And that's just, mm -hmm. and that, that is, and I will never forget when I was at the beginning and how much I actually wish there was somebody out there like me or like us that was there kind of like holding your hand and saying like, I'm supporting you. I'm here to support you. And that's what the human design and astral club is all about. We are the support system that you've been looking for. Okay. So, um, 
what did I want to say? Oh, we also do, uh, I, I started a new series over on Instagram. I do quick energy updates over on Instagram. They're basically what we're talking about on here with the human design programs that we're going get, to get into in just a little bit. Um, but I do them for each week and we actually talk about the gates on there because they're they're short, they're quick, they're fast, and they're digestible. On here, we're talking about a lot of stuff all at once. So here, we're just talking about the energy of the programs. But over on there, if you want specifics, a lot of people are loving those quick energy updates. Yeah, so head super over. Super helpful. They're, they are super helpful. I didn't realize how much they were until I started doing them and then getting the feedback from everybody. But yeah, yeah I'm Journey Through HD. You can go find me over there on Instagram. Follow me. I do it every six days because that's, or at least around every six days, <laughs> I should say, um, because that's when the program changes. You want to check that over there. And also, I want to give a little shout out to one of our our listeners. I, I appreciate your kind words and also just sharing yeah. with us. We love when our listeners, you know, either email us or DM me, DM us, or sometimes on Spotify, if you didn't know, you can respond to us on Spotify. And so mm -hmm. Jennifer, shout out to you, girl. Mm -hmm. um, thank you for what it, I just want to read what you wrote um, and then like respond to that for a second. So Jennifer, I love all the information you put into the episodes, but I listen on my commute to work, which a lot of you have actually told me this. So mm -hmm. thank you for, I, I love this kind of feedback. So thank you, Jennifer. And I can't do the meditations. Well, that's a little sad face for me, but that's okay. Um, I, I love the longer, more in-depth explanations of the transits too. Well, thank you so much. And so I just want to respond about the meditation part. So also let us know if you like the meditations because we are here to provide what you guys need. And if that part's not for you guys, then maybe we, maybe we try something different. We have tried a lot of different things on here. I personally love them. Um, but that's also I'm doing them. So maybe I'm a little biased myself. <laughs> but what I will say about that is a lot of you guys do listen to the podcast while you're driving. So I do not want you and we do not want you doing those meditations or journeys um, right. while you're driving. But I just want to let you guys know we do have timestamps in, in the description so that mm -hmm. let's say you have to jump ahead you can also on your own time, like maybe I would, I would suggest doing these journeys, like either in the morning or the evenings before you go to bed, those are great times to do meditations. And maybe you don't have a meditation that you regularly do. And this one is actually meant for the month that we're in. So this is a great meditation to do to, to tap into that energy. So just go back to that segment when you're not driving and listen to it then. And, and, and receive what you need to receive then if you have to jump ahead and it's not for you or you don't have time, totally understand. No big deal. But I just wanted to make note that we do have timestamps down below in the show notes and let us know how you are enjoying these episode episodes. Let us know on YouTube. You can give us a comment. Let us know. Do you like the journeys? Do you, is there something else you would like from us? We are open to hearing what your, your needs are. You know, maybe it seems like I like just listening to myself talk, but I don't really. Um, <laughs> I really want this. I'm I'm desire motivation. I'm here to be a leader. And if I'm not leading you in the direction that you guys want, I want to know. I just want I want to know. And maybe I'll maybe I'll listen and maybe I won't. Okay. Um, I am stubborn, but I'm not here to do things that aren't benefiting people, is what I'm trying to say. So yeah, you want to just love that? Well, we love hearing from whoever wants to respond. Um, we just love to know like what you're getting from the episodes. If you're finding something that's really helpful, something that's more helpful than another, or if we need to kind of pivot with things, like you said, it yeah. just, it's good for us to know because again, like we're not just sitting here talking to ourselves. We really are here to get you to a better place of, or, you know, your favorite place of yourself. I was, I did a workout yesterday and she said, not the best version of you, but the favorite version of you. Mm -hmm. And I really liked how she said that because it's not like you're asking someone like, what's the best ice cream? Like everyone's going to have their opinion, but your favorite version, your favorite ice cream is your own version, your own favorite. Your own part taste. Of your own taste. Yeah. So I was like, wow, that really, like that was, that resonated a lot. Um, so I feel like that kind of just, I don't know why that felt like that needed to be in that 
spot no, right now. But. <laughs> and and just and I, you guys. And I, I, I love hearing constructive criticism, crit- criticism, like people that are assholes to me. I'm not, I'm not here for that. I will just block you. Okay. I don't, I have, <laughs> I have an open solar plexus. The world's crazy. I don't have time for your not self bullshit. If I'm not saying you that is listening or watching this, but for anybody that does, I mean, we all experience the not self and we all experience people that are, you know, we have, we have to have, we live in a binary system. We, we, we have to meet the dark and the light. I accept yeah. the dark and the light myself and also in other people, but I'm also not going to tolerate bullshit. Th- with that said, if you have something that you would like to share with us that you're looking for, if there's maybe even certain episodes, what episodes are you guys looking for? We love doing educational episodes. So let us know. Are there segments that you love on here? Are there segments that maybe you don't really like? I'm okay with that. I'm, I am I want to know so that we can improve. We're all about improvement. Um, This is a self-development space that we're in. We're all improving together. So Mm -hmm. we'd just love to hear what you guys have to say. And there's no wrong answer other than if you're deliberately being an asshole, then that's wrong to me. (laughs) I do have gate 10, okay? Conscious sun and actually I think both of my Neptunes and I have the 1034. So I don't have time for bad behavior. Um, but with that said, I guess we're going to start our journey. Okay. So let's, let's get connected. Let's get centered. Where are my sprays? My sprays. So let's, let's get some space. Again, if you're driving, we do not want you doing this while you're driving. Okay. Or maybe you can just like, actually there is, there's this one app that I started listening to superhuman. I told you about it. Uh, not sponsored, would love to, but not sponsored, (laughs) but she does have like a lot of movement to meditations. So you could listen to it and just receive also. Um, but this isn't something to be, I do not want you closing your eyes while you're driving. Um, not a great idea. Um, but if you want to listen to it and just receive and maybe something sometimes when there are people out there that need to be in movement while they're meditating, because there's so many different types of meditations out there. So maybe you just listen and you receive and whatever comes up for you while you're listening to it and not trying to focus on it, there's a message there for you. The thing is these journeys, there's a message there for you that's going to help you through your month. That's the whole point of these journeys. Okay. So let's clear some air here. We're speaking of air because we are going into air next. We're moving into Gemini season. Okay. So I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> I don't really. Um, I I I do like Taurus season because we're both North Node Taurus, and I feel like movement can tend to be created during that time for us. Yeah. Um, Gemini is my opposite since I'm a Sagittarius Sun. So, but I do I I do get a kick out of Gemini's though. I really do. I do get. Yeah. They they've always got something to say. You know what I mean? Um. The wheels are always turning up there. Always. And I actually had a visual of where we're going to go when we get to Gemini for this journey um, while I was putting together the programs. And I was like, oh, that's what we're doing. I don't know. It just came to me. So anyways, I want you guys to get comfortable, get ready to receive. And we're going to start out in Taurus, okay, where we left off last time. All right. So Taurus is a fixed earth sign, okay? And Taurus, I like to envision, and maybe this is something you can get a visual of right now. I always like to envision when it comes to Taurus, the bull that's basking in the sun. Taurus is all about being in enjoyment of the body, of the of our senses, of tapping in, to the elements, tapping into the earth, allowing the sun to receive and just feel that energy on the body. Taurus really likes to tap into the physical body. It's all about beauty, ruled by Venus, right? So it's time to connect right now to your heart center. That's what Taurus wants you to do. I want you to tap in to your heart. And I want you to imagine that you are standing on firm, solid ground right now. Taurus is an earth sign. 
it, it is tapped into the physical realm that we live in. So I want you to imagine for right now that you are standing firmly on the ground. Feel it. Taurus wants you to feel into the physical elements. So feel into it. What kind of ground are you standing on right now? This is also going to paint a picture of what this month is going to go like for you. So are you standing in the grass? Can you feel the blades of the grass beneath your feet? Are you standing in the dirt? Can you feel the movement of the dirt beneath your feet? Are you standing on pavement? Maybe it's a little warm. Maybe it's a hot, sunny day and you're like, ow, my feet are burning me right now. There's a lot of different varieties that you could be standing on and that's going to tell you where you're at in your life right now. So take a moment and to tap into how you feel as your feet are firmly planted in the earth. Take a moment with that right now and connect to that, those senses. Okay. Now I want you to begin walking. Okay. We're going to start walking and we're walking to something really good. Okay. So I want you to look ahead as you start walking and what's in front of you is an air balloon. Okay. And you're going to get on this air balloon because we are headed into Gemini season. And Gemini is connected to the mind and communication, okay? It is an air sign. And so you're going to head into that air balloon. And I want you to imagine, before you hop in though, what colors do you see? Because that's also going to paint a picture for your month. What color is this air balloon? Is it striped? Maybe there's some red and white stripes, traditional. Maybe it's a traditional air balloon. Maybe there's some purple and yellows. Maybe it's rainbow. What color is your air balloon? Okay. And also, is there anybody that's coming along with you on this journey? Is there anybody that is also accompanying you in this air balloon? Because they are going to be your partner for this month. So get in, get into the air balloon and it's going to take off now. They've activated the little fire. Okay. And it's beginning to lift up into the air and you're going to start visualizing things. There's a symbol in the clouds. I want you to look ahead. There's a symbol for you in the clouds and I want you to take a moment and see what that symbol is. Is it, is it a shape? Is it a word? Is it a phrase? Is it a anything that comes to your mind? What is it? What is the symbol in the cloud? Okay, maybe it's even an animal. Okay. So take a moment and connect to that symbol. And I want you in that moment that you're going to connect right now, ask that symbol what it, it's here to show you. So take a moment again to connect to that symbol. Okay, so whatever that message is, is the key to your success for this month. And I want you to now allow yourself to embrace all of the beauty that's surrounding you. See if there's anything else in the sky with you, because that's also going to be messages for your journey for this month. Maybe you see birds, maybe you see a plane. I want you to visualize and look out for a moment and see what else is surrounding your landscape. And now we're going to take three deep inhales in and come back into the body. And then after the third inhale, we're going to open our eyes. Take one deep inhale in and release. Another one and release. And the last one and release. And when you're ready, open your eyes.
love those so much. <laughs> yeah, they are really I'll good. Myself. I love them. Yeah. Okay, I'll do them just for Leah um, <laughs> and for me because I listen to them back too. Um, right, I like get to listen to it twice. So, and I, you know, I think people forget that you know meditations, and I call these ones journeys, particularly um, that they're not meant for just one time. Mm-hmm. Every time you can come back to it when you have a chance, it actually, you know, something new. Maybe you get a new symbol for this one. And so, like yeah. I said just before, these journeys are meant to give you almost like a tool and a visual and a representation of how you're going to be able to be successful for the for the month. It helps us tap into the unconscious that we don't allow ourselves to normally tap into. So that's yeah. what these journeys are about. So if you have a moment or if you want to read, you can also circle back to them at any point in the month. The, the timestamps are going to be down below in the show notes. So hi there. Crystal here, and I wanted to tell you about a few opportunities to dive deeper into human design outside of the podcast. So you can head over to humandesignastro.com, click on the product section, and you'll find all of these free and paid offers that we're going to talk about right now, or head to the show notes down below. So our first one is going to be our affirmations guide for the open undefined centers. We also have tips and tricks to understanding your strategy and authority. And we also have a crash course to understanding the transits and planets, probably one of our most popular ones. So these are all free that you can pick up at humandesignastro.com. Now let's talk about some of our paid offers. So our biggest one is going to be our color code variables intensive, which is a five week journey through the four radical transformations that we run twice a year in the fall and also the spring. So we will be opening up a wait list very soon for the fall. So you can head to the show notes down below or go to humandesignastro.com to check in and see if our wait list is available. And then we also have If you're not quite ready for the variable intensive, we also have determination, cognition, and environment, which we created a la carte classes and also bundles that you can pick up and you can learn your own individual, unique determination, cognition, or environment. And they are audios and guidebooks. And then we also have our fractal family framework appetizer. So the full fractal family framework comes free with color code, but you can pick up the more condensed version for only $11 if you're looking to find more aligned clients or find more reciprocity in your relationships and connect to more people that are like-minded like you. You can pick up the fractal family framework appetizer. And then we also have your user manual to your true self, and you can learn the language of human design, like what the centers actually mean. We have a lot of images and graphics on where everything is located. We even have what is the magnetic monopole, comes with a free guide to understanding the solar plexus as an emotional or non-emotional. And then we also have, if you're looking to book a reading with me, you can go check out what my readings are at humandesignastro.com. And then you can email me waitlist at hello at humandesignastro.com and get on my waitlist and I will email you my openings when I am available. So this is everything that you can find at humandesignastro.com. So head over there now, check out the product section and pick up one of these amazing offers. Now let's go ahead over back to the show. Let's move on to our next segment. This one's called the program, okay? And so let's just briefly break down that for a moment for those of you that are new here or need a refresher. Every six days, we are going to tap into a new energy that's almost like, I like to say, what episode are we tuning into this week, okay? And so I like to visualize people refer to this material world as like a movie. Uh, you can also look at it as a freaking giant TV show with, <laughs> with a million different episodes that we're tuning into each week. And so the program explains the energy of what that episode is going to be about. Okay. And so that's what the programs are called. So we're actually going to be traveling through the sun and earth gates. They're a coupling pair. 
Okay. So every time I shout out, this is our focus. I'm talking about the sun. Every time I shout out, this is what's grounding and supporting us. I'm talking about the earth. Okay. And the quick energy updates give you the specifics. And then we also have a full month's worth report called the cosmic forecast that also people have been loving. We've been getting response from that through our email list. So you can jump down below and you can click on um, our email get on our email list. I don't know exactly what the link description is going to be for that, but just go find our email list. It's one of the links down below and jump on our email list. We put out the cosmic forecast every time we drop these episodes. So you'll get that email and then you can refer back to it throughout the month. You can use it while you're you're listening or watching this episode because that we're actually giving the specifics. We're actually giving you the gate Um, for each sun and earth. And we're giving a deeper uh, description for the new moons and full moons and anything else that we feel is important for you for the month. So let's jump in. May 1st, okay? Setting up the month here. It's also whatever the program is. Also, here's here's a little tip for you. Whatever the program is for the first day of the month, that sets the tone for the entire month. Okay, so listen to this first program. So the focus is on our minds. We're moving into Gemini season, right? There's going to be a lot of focus on the mind and the voice for this month, okay? So this is all about returning to concepts, to rationalize, to create breakthroughs, okay? So this is going to be a great week for introspection, okay? Especially, th- and that's that's nice to have. Let's, let's take a look back at where we just came from, right? That's what this week is going to be about. And so what's going to be grounding and supporting us are our past patterns, okay, to help bring upon that breakthrough to ensure that history, past history that we don't want to go back to does not repeat itself, okay? And then on May 3rd, we're going to move to a new program. So May 3rd, we get a new focus, and this is on our direction, okay? This is a really important one. This is on our direction. And this week, and we're going to be allowing ourselves for this program to tap into our higher self, to carry us to where we need to grow. What resources do you have to steer you in the right direction? Okay. And then in the earth, we're being grounded and supported by our unique direction through our hearts and by using our voice. We can direct our creative expression and create a brand new direction. Find time to create this week, okay? And then on May 8th, we have a new focus, again, on our voice and speaking from a place of what we know to pass the knowledge on to others that see us as the genius that we are. We're the freak. I a Freak is a term of endearment for me, Okay. Um, and then we're being grounded and supported by our minds to listen to those thoughts so that we can structure them into new concepts to bring about individual insight. And then on May 14th, we get a new program and this is a focus again on our voice. Okay. There's going to be a lot of this this month and the contribution we wanted to make a couple programs ago. How do you want to attract others towards the contribution that you wish to make? And then we're being grounded and supported through response to our capacity to provide direction towards the resources that we have. How do you want to interact with others this week to share your your contribution and your resources, okay, and distribute those resources? And then on May 20th, we get a new focus again on our voice. Okay. Do you see the pattern? Gemini, these are all sun gates that connect to Gemini. Okay. Uh, just so that it can give a little education as we're, we're diving through these things. So we have a focus on our voice and being present in the moment. This is a week to be present. Okay. And asking yourself, how do I want to show up now? How do I want to show up in this present moment? because the present moment is a gift, okay? And so then what's grounding and supporting us is our strength and our response to how we want to be in the present. 
What do you want to be busy using your energy with this week? Because a lot of people get distracted with being busy just to be busy. But how do you want to be busy this week? Okay. And so then on May 26th, this is the last program of the month. Okay. There's another focus on our voice. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> and how you experiment with your skills. Um, also, all open throats. This is a great month to tap in and utilize these gates to your advantage. Okay. I will be because I have an open throat. So I love that I'm seeing all these um, throat gates show up for the month. So can you identify what you are good at this week? Okay. That's going to be your focus. And then what's going to help support you in that is going to be um, identifying your skills is going to be your focus, okay? So how, like you have to be able to focus on the skill, right, to know what you're good at. So that's what this week is all about, to be able to respond and hone in on what is actually pulling you in. And then using that uh, momentum, using that response, okay, to then develop that skill. That's at the end of the month. And so those are all the programs for the month. Um, and we're going to now dive into our next segment, Mark Your Calendars, where we're going to go through a few dates to mark your calendars with and also highlight the new moon and full moon for the month. We don't, we, we luckily, you know, we've just gotten out of Mercury retrograde. We just got out of eclipse season that like ripped us a new one. Okay. We also didn't really get to talk about that so much, but yes, it ripped us a a new one, okay? Um, or maybe it didn't for you. If it didn't for you, good for you, okay? <laughs> I feel like it kind of had to do something to literally everybody, at least a little bit. Um, but anyways, so we have everything direct up until May 2nd, okay? So of course we have to, we're, we're beginning um, retrograde season begins around summertime. So we're at we're going to be at the end of spring leading into summer. So we got to have, we have to have planets starting to go retrograde. So the first planet that is going retrograde is on May 2nd, Pluto's going retrograde. Now, this is kind of a big deal because Pluto just moved into gate 41. And that is the initiator codon that's actually moving, moving us forward to uh, a new timeline for when we move to um, the cross of the sleeping phoenix after 2027 and pluto really is marking that that moment in time um so we just moved into gate 41 um i talked about that in our cosmic forecast last month so we're going to start retrograding back through that gate 41 um and we'll talk a little bit more about what that means in the cosmic forecast so just mark your calendar that may 2nd is when pluto retrogrades and also know that you're not going to really feel like too much of this especially at the beginning at least until it moves back again into the next into the next gate because um pluto's very slow moving okay so it's not something that like mercury where you're like fuck everything's just like fucked up pluto's very slow moving you're not going to feel it like the day of or even the day after or for a while. Um, so just know that, note that. And so then on uh, May 7th, we have New Moon Taurus, okay? And this is going to be about planting our seeds for the next six months on how we want to ground ourselves in our hearts and also our financial abundance. Taurus also represents abundance and money, right? Again, about being successful in the material world is really Taurus energy, Okay. And a better way of living, a better way of being, a better way of feeling, all of those things back to the senses, right? So this is a time to call upon the higher self to provide, your, provide you a new direction. There might be a stubbornness, okay, with fixed earth in Taurus, not allowing you to see the full picture. This will be a time to zoom out. We'll discuss more and again in our cosmic forecast that you can jump on in the description down below and get on our email list. And so we'll talk a little bit more about that then. And then on May 20th, Gemini season begins. Okay, that's why we have all these throat gates because Gemini is a chatter. Okay, so that's the way that works. And then on um, May 23rd, we have full moon Sagittarius. And this is about completing a place from where you were six months ago. And it's all it's going to be all about where we have been trying to take back our power for the last six months. 
with the help of Fiery Mutable Sagittarius. We've been on our journey of self-empowerment this year. That's a really big, I guess, uh, point of reference to refer to as self-empowerment for this year. And so, and I believe we can complete some big things around that energy that we've been calling in around that for this full moon. Okay. So this is, this, this can be, a, a, you know, Sagittarius, it's fire. It's, it's the philosopher. It's, it's the arrow that's shooting out into the unknown. So it's like, what have you been working on in regards to your power and your fire from within? Okay. That's what this full moon's about. So this is a time to not get heated in, in using your power with force. Cause that we're going to see a lot of that in the collective. Okay. I'm this, this full moon. I'm like, Oh, I don't know. But let me give you some awareness here. This is not about using your power with force, okay? But to use it for the greater good of your individual expression, all right? And so then lastly that I'm going to talk about here, and then we'll pass it over to Leah, Jupiter enters Gemini on May 25th. And I'll again, I'll talk a little bit more deeper about that in the Cosmic Forecast I feel like with Jupiter entering Gemini in Gemini season, it's kind of a big deal with really being able to expand our minds and expand our thoughts and expand our visions and expand the way that we communicate. And we'll dive a little bit more about that in the cosmic forecast as well. And so I'm going to pass it over to Leah. All right. Um, I was going to ask you, do you know how long it takes for Pluto to get through each of the gates? So yeah, it was somewhere in like 2020, 2022 that uh, Pluto entered gate 60. So it's it's around, it's somewhat between the, because of the retrogrades, it's it's between two, two plus three-ish years that we um, experience a gate. So it's kind of a long time. Yeah, that is. Long, it's the longest gate that we'll experience for that moment in time compared right. to the other planets. So it's kind of a big deal when Pluto changes gates because we we experience that particular gate for for a good amount of time. Yeah. So so yeah, it's somewhere between two to three years that okay. we that we experience a Pluto gate. And gate 41 is a really, really big deal. And I have yeah. I know I talked about Gate 25 on my Instagram, um, and a lot of people really appreciated that post that I made on that, if you want to go check it out on my Instagram. Um, but I haven't been wanting to talk. I have no – I, I do things through response, and I had no response to talk about uh, Pluto and Gate 41 yet because mm -hmm. we literally just got dipped our toes, like just dipped, and now we're going backwards again. And right. like – we haven't even touched the surface. Like I see some people talk about it, seeing all these changes. No, I think that's actually gate 25 that's bringing upon a lot of those changes right now. And yes, there is like almost like a window opening with the 41 in Pluto, but it's it's just cracked. And I'm like, I don't have a response yet to share about it. But just so you guys know, I will. I will be talking about Pluto in gate 41 um, because it is the initiator codon of starting something new. And yeah. it's a really big deal that this is happening um, right before 2027. All lining up. Yeah. Cool. Well, thank you for answering that. I was just curious. I'd written it down. I'm like, don't forget to ask this question. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. So around two to, two to three years. Pluto. Okay. Cool. So let's hop into the tarot for the human design types. Um, and I also do Oracle messages weekly for the human design types. So if you want to go over to my Instagram, the Splenic Projector. First, we have the Manifestors. Um, we have the Two of Pentacles. And this month will be all about balance, or you can use the word harmony, whatever you feel like when you see the infinity sign and the two coins kind of like making its way back and forth. You can also think of this as the tides when they come in and out. Um, we can also think of it as the emotional waves. They come and go, they flow. Um, finding that balance or harmony in your emotions. Um, whether you're an emotional authority or not, we all have feelings because we're all human. We all have emotions and we all have uh, different ways that we move through those emotions. So allow yourself this month to really 
um, find ways to work through those emotions and find ways to express them. Maybe that could be through writing, through painting, um, dancing, singing. You used to talk a lot about the throat gates this month. So that could be talking to a friend or um, finding ways to speak them out loud. It could just be like a voice message in your phone. You don't have to share it with anybody if you don't want to, um, but that could be another way of expressing those emotions. And um, get really creative with how you express them. This kind of this person on the card here sort of looks like he's finding his own way of finding that balance or harmony with what he's doing. So that's what is in line for the manifestors. For the manifesting generators, we have the high priestess. And um, the high priestess is all about getting unrestricted and finding a deeper understanding for yourself. You could be a very independent being. And this month could be a great month for you to tap into those intuitive um, abilities, tap into your sacral. What does it sound like for you to make a decision with your sacral and or your authority, your inner authority? So get connected with your inner authority and really experiment with what it's what it feels like for you on a day to day, a moment to moment basis to make a decision about something. And the more that you accept and share yourself and understand yourself, your inner authority and trusting yourself, the more magnetic you'll become. So ask yourself if you've been giving your power away to others having them make the decisions for you, or if you've been letting them hold you back and how you can take back your power, how you can take back your decision-making for yourself, what is correct for you. For the generators, we have the five of wands. And also if you're not, not on YouTube, I'm showing you the cards on YouTube so you can go and see them over there. So the five of wands is about feeling like there's a little bit of conflict that's been going on. Maybe things have been, been feeling kind of tough for you lately. There have been maybe some obstacles that are keeping you from moving forward. It could be limiting beliefs. It could just be a stagnant energy. You're just feeling you, you don't have a lot of inspiration or energy to do things. And this card is asking you to take a look around and see what's been blocking you. Really, like, is it a mental block? Is it a limiting, limiting belief you have about yourself? Is it someone else's opinion about things that is holding you back? Are they keeping you small? Are you keeping yourself self small and how you can take some time this month to kind of face those situations and then do something about it. It could be a really small step. It doesn't have to be like getting rid of something altogether, breaking up, you know, quitting your job. It could just be as simple as, you know, I'm just going to take one little step to make me feel more confident about making decisions for myself. And what is my energy telling me? What is it that you need to get rid of? What are some limiting beliefs that you need to get rid of? What are some tasks that need to be delegated to somebody else so that you can get more creative with yourself because you have this great sacral energy about yourself, you might need some support to take the weight off of you of the things that aren't fun and exciting and making you feel let up. And someone else loves doing that thing. So maybe it's time for someone else to take a, a step for you. And then taking a step back and looking at the bigger picture, remembering that you are capable and more capable than you give yourself credit for sometimes. So try doing something that is fun for you and firing up that sacral again. So for the projectors, we have the three of swords. And this is a card that reminds us that if we're feeling defeated, if we feel like we're a little bit heartbroken, or we feel like we're kind of giving our energy away to other people, that this is a good time to really look at who is taking our energy, that heart energy of yours, whether you're defined or undefined, because you're a projector, um, you can kind of give that away for free. And now is the time for you to understand what recognition and invitations are actually correct for you. And what is it that you're trying to interject on that you aren't invited into? Um, and how are you trying to kind of put yourself into situations or give people your advice or giving away your precious energy to someone who doesn't deserve it? Because that's what you really should be looking at. Who is taking your energy from you? Who is not reciprocating for the guidance that you're trying to give? because that's those are the kind of situations where you need to step back and step back into your own energy. So I would really take a take some time to like get back to the basics with your authority, with your recognition, invitation, and with waiting, um, because this could be a time for you to really understand what is worth waiting for and who really wants my advice and who deserves my energy. And lastly, we have the reflectors. And reflectors got justice. And this card is all about fairness and judgment or being judged. Um, this is kind of like the, the judge of the cards. It's saying being thoughtful and reasonable and finding out like what the other person is thinking or feeling, making decisions not hastily, like taking a 
taking time to look at all of the possibilities, all of the potential outcomes, looking what it's like from the other person's perspective. And I would really suggest paying attention to the transits, going back and listening to Crystal's review of all of the, the moon cycles and everything, because that's really what you're here to do is to follow through with the lunar cycle and understand what it looks like for you to make decisions based on how the transits and how the energies are impacting you and making sure that you're considering all the angles and all the viewpoints and weighing out all the possible outcomes before making a decision. And it could be small things. It could be big things, whatever that looks like for you. It's okay to get other people's opinions about things too, because sometimes you might need someone else's opinion about something, whether that's a business decision, it could be about your health. It could be, you know, something that you're trying to change or shift an idea on. It's okay to get another person's perspective of, of that. And then also being in your own energy, being in your own energy so that you're not being influenced by other people's definition, um, because that can be a really big thing for you. So making sure that you're keeping an open mind to outcomes and being open to any sort of possibility that could happen. So that's all I have for the types. I also feel like reflectors should really journal on during the big moon cycles of new moons and full moons and like also watching that it's about two to three times a day the moon is changing gates. Speaking of where we were just talking about Pluto is like the slowest moving of the gates, right? Like two to three years, nice. right? But the moon, which is the fastest for each of the gates of movement wise, is two to three times a day. So mm -hmm. you could be a completely different type at the end of the day as a reflector than where you started at the beginning of the day. And that's why it is, I, I think, and I think that's why a lot of people even say, like, I, even it's more it's getting more popularized to say like reflectors watch the transits i mean raw talked about that a lot too watch mm -hmm. the transits especially watch when the moon changes gates because it it's going that's your ruler that's your guiding force that's your guiding point so use that so yeah thank you so much for being here we really appreciate you spending your time with us and taking the time out of your day to just hang out and learn something new and don't forget to give us a big thumbs up over on YouTube. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Help us reach that 500. And we hope you have the best month in May. The stars ever be in your favor. And we will see you over on the next one. See you later. Bye. Bye. Thank you for tuning into today's episode of our podcast on the Human Design and Astro Club. We hope you have found the information insightful and useful. If you enjoyed the show, please consider leaving us a review and sharing it with your friends and family. We love to hear from our listeners, so feel free to reach out to us with any feedback, questions, or suggestions for future episodes. Until next time, thanks for listening, and we'll see you on the next one.